My Weird School, Class Pet Mess by Dan Goodman. Meet AJ, and she hates bunnies. Well, she doesn't really hate bunnies, but she doesn't want one for a class pet. Why? Because Andrea loves bunnies. A fluffy white bunny would be so cute. AJ wants something much cooler, like a snake. Yay, cheered the boys. Ew, said the girls. Mr. Cooper, the class teacher, let the kids vote. And luckily, there were more boys than girls in the class. So, a snake it is. Find out all about Bob, the class pet snake, and the adventures of AJ and the rest of the gang who go to the wackiest and funniest school around. Read Class Pet Mess, the first in the series of My Weird School books for beginning readers. Also, check out some of the other books in the series, such as My Weird School Goes to the Museum, Teamwork Trouble, and Talent Show Mix-Up. We All Play by Julie Flett. We All Play, or Keme Tawanao and Cree by Julie Flett, explores nature and fun and everything that can be found there. Meet several wild animals who chirp, chase, swim, nudge, nuzzle, and more. You'll meet a group of children who love frolicking too, rolling down hills and splashing in water, showing that just like animals, we all love to play. What are some of your favorite ways to play? Excellent. All of those things sound like so much fun and great ways to play. This book does a really good job at showing just how similar we all are and how the joys of nature are for everyone. Yes, even the tiny dung beetles. Audio pronunciations of the Cree words in this book are available on the book page for We All Play at GraystoneBooks.com. Hope you enjoy this story and remember to get out there and play. Who loves summer? In celebration of summer reading, I have just the book for you. This book is about a young girl and her Lola. Lola means grandmother in Tagalog, which is a national language of the Philippines. When Lola Visits is written by Michelle Sterling and the art is done by Aaron Aces. In the book, a young girl describes all the adventures her and her Lola get into during the long, hot summers, baking cakes, swimming, and even fireworks. When the summer is over and it's time for Lola to go home, the little girl is extremely sad, but there's a surprise at the end. Her Lola loves her and she sends her a gift in the mail. Read it to find out what her Lola sends her. I hope you check it out. As always, joyful reading. Have you ever felt lost and left out because you were the new kid? And so does Mindy. You see, she is new at school, and she looked around and couldn't find anybody that looked like her. But she has goals. Her goals are to meet new friends, have people not make fun of her lunch, and to convince her dad that getting a new puppy would be the best idea ever. But Mindy has a challenge because she gets busted, has to go to the principal's office, and then dad gets a call. Will Mindy reach her goals? And will she get the puppy that she's always wanted? Read Mindy Kim and the Yummy Seaweed Business by Dung Ho. This book is called How to Build a Fizzy Rocket by Lori Shores. If you're looking for a fun project to do this summer, this is the perfect book for you. You can read a lot of the words by yourself or with a little bit of help from your grown-up. And make sure you have help from a grown-up when you do the project too. I can tell you about how amazing this fizzy rocket is, but I'd rather show you. I'm to experiment where your goggles.
you can experiment with different size antacids to see how high your racket can go. And if you don't have a film canister at home, you can use a chocolate candy container like this. I hope you have a great time building your fizzy rockets.